if you are getting a European skull mount done, field care is very important. The best way to handle this is to skin your trophy and get it into a freezer as soon as possible. Once the skull starts to deteriorate, it pulls in the grease from the meat around it. It also pulls in the blood staining the skull, making it more difficult to get a superior quality white skull. On animals such as antelope and buffalo, these horn cheese cover a bony core. This must be taken off to clean the meat from underneath in order to get a properly cleaned skull. In order to do that, on smaller animals such as antelope, a great way to do it is to put them in the microwave. If you put them in the microwave for three to four minutes, this horn she should pop right off. If not, give it a little longer, they will come off. On larger animals, such as buffalo, where that is not practical, what you can do is put them in a black plastic bag, put a cup of water in with it, seal that bag up and put it in the warmest place you can. After two to three days, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, those horn cheese should pop right off. Then you can get a properly cleaned skull. To do a skull mount on a deer and velvet is possible, although there's a few things you need to remember. The fleshy velvet on an antler will rot if not properly cared for. Therefore, immediately upon killing a deer and velvet, you need to get it frozen. Once your skull and antlers are frozen, they are safe from deterioration. Well, Derek, thanks for sharing that with us. You're that welcome. is a gorgeous skull mount. European mounts are gaining more and more popularity, and it's a great way to preserve the memory of the hunt. Be sure to join us in the next exciting adventure in Taxidermy for the Sportsman.